restless minds, eager footsteps. A chance to play in a beautiful open space is all it needs to bring a smile on these innocent faces. And giving them the simple joy of life is Dr. Sunita Maheshwari. We moved back to India in 1999 from the US. On our way back, we actually stopped in Hungary uh, and Europe. And we found that every little area uh, had a playground. So our daughter was three and we didn't spend time at the museums. We just went from one playground to another. So when we came into Bangalore, then we saw the government school and we saw this ground and space and no play equipment. You think of playgrounds and it's such a simple thing. I mean, it seems so simple like a slide and a little seesaw and uh, how fantastic it is to watch them. The minute it's painted, they're like, Auntie, now, Auntie, now, can I get on it? The lack of avenues for children to play led to the inception of People for People. An organization Dr. Sunita founded in 2004 to build free playgrounds in the government schools across Bangalore. You know, it's interesting because in our country, I think it's a tuition culture. You, you know, you finish school and then you go from one tuition to the next. Uh, and there are, there's enough literature to suggest that kids actually need free playtime to develop as overall individuals. To be able to, you know, just get on a slide like that, exercise all their joints and muscles, be out in the sun, get their dose of vitamin D for the day. So we, playtime has become subsumed to this culture of tuitions and academics and getting 98%. So personally, as a doctor, I think, um, you know, as a physician, as uh, is a parent, I kind of feel that there's nothing more important than giving kids this option of free playtime. They are very helpful to our children. They come enthusiastically to school. They have interest passing the time here. They play. Whenever they get the opportunity, they start playing. They are very happy. Children are very happy. Today, People for People has installed over 120 playgrounds under Dr. Sunita's guidance and efforts. However, it has not been an easy ride for her. Right from scarcity of space to the lack of playground equipment manufacturers. Sunita had to overcome a number of hurdles. I would say the only challenge was finding playground manufacturers. Uh, there are not many playgrounds, I guess, being made in our country. Getting more people in our country to be able to make these. Because we've tried to install some playgrounds in the north, we couldn't find a playground manufacturer. That, that, that is a bit of the missing link right now. When she is not installing playgrounds, Dr. Sunita and her husband, Dr. Arjun Kalyanpur, are providing radiology services through their company, Teleradiology Solutions, in 26 villages across the country. Hi, this is Crystal from Teleradiology. Have you received the report on Jennifer's illness? They provide services to charitable hospitals and institutions. Their company has not only helped solve the problem of late diagnosis, but has also made up for the lack of radiologists available in the country. We set up the Telerad Foundation in 2006 with the goal of providing services to remote parts of the country and the world. Because of this foundation, we have been able to help over 35,000 patients over the last several years. We have only 10,000 radiologists like Dr. Kalyanpur. There are only 10,000 of him available in this country for a population of 1.2 billion. So this means that taking a, a diagnosis out to a rural, remote part of India is very difficult. And that's where teleradiology comes in. Growing from strength to strength, with her grit and passion to help the needy, Dr. Sunita has been successful in her attempt at making this world a happier place. And there is just no stopping for this exceptional go-getter. Our country needs givers. So I think learning to give and giving uh, is something very much needed. And I feel it can be in any way.